you heard someone say they've had a stroke after popping their neck, it sounds extreme, but the mechanisms behind it are real, even though it's rare. If you're someone who regularly pops or cracks your neck because it feels relieving, it helps to understand what's actually happening underneath. That temporary relief comes from rapidly stretching a joint and releasing gas bubbles in the synovial fluid, and that popping sound itself is not the danger. The risk comes from repeatedly forcing the neck beyond its normal range of motion. Over time, that can loosen the ligaments, destabilize the cervical spine, allowing more uncontrolled movement during sudden twists. As stability decreases, sharp or forceful neck motions can place abnormal shear stress on the vertebral and carotid arteries that run through the neck. In rare cases, that stress can damage the inner lining of an artery, causing a tear known as cervical artery dissection. When a dissection occurs, blood can collect at the injury site, form a clot, and potentially travel to the brain, blocking blood flow and resulting in a stroke. These events are uncommon, and most people who crack their neck will never experience this. But the mechanism is well described which is why repeated forceful neck manipulation, especially self-manipulation, is not recommended. If your neck feels stiff or tight, safer options include gentle mobility, posture correction, targeted strengthening, or guided therapy rather than aggressive popping. Have you ever thought about what's actually happening inside your neck when you crack it? Let me know your thoughts in the comments and follow the Fever Health IQ.